Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to write a program which produces its own source code as its output using C or C++ programming language. So normally, whenever we need to, you know, print out the contents of a file, what we do is, you know, we open that file, then, uh, you know, we're going to go through the contents of that file using some appropriate functions, and then, you know, we just going to print out the you know read it contents so similarly in this tutorial we're gonna write a program which is gonna print out its own source code as the output so here in this tutorial we need to open up the source file of the program that we're gonna be running so the problem is in getting the path to that source file but luckily in C and C++ we have a predefined macro which gives us you know the path to the source file so that macro is called file and uh, we need to use that with uh, you know double underscores and this macro expands to the name of the current input file and it uh, you know uh, gives that name of the current input file along with the path as a string so if you're wondering you know what may be the output of this um, file macro I'm just gonna show you here I'm going to use a printf function because you know I have made this project as a C project. So here inside this printf function we need to use underscore underscore file then underscore underscore. I'm going to save this. I'm going to build and run this program. You know it just printed out the path of the current input file. You know which is nothing but the file which contains the source code of the program that we are running here so we're gonna use this macro in our program so the first thing that uh, we're gonna do is you know we're gonna be creating a file pointer because you know we're gonna be working with the files so it's gonna be file and let's call it as EFP you know file pointer then uh, we need a character variable to store uh, you know the character reader from the file so it's gonna be care let me call it as ch and then we're gonna open up the file so it's gonna be fp equal to i'm gonna use the f open function so it's gonna be f open and uh, as a parameter to this f open function we need to pass the file name and if that file happens to be in some other folder then we need to pass the path along with that file name so here we're gonna use this file macro you know which will point to the file that we want to open so it's gonna be underscore underscore file then underscore underscore and then we need to specify the mode at which we are gonna be opening the file so we want to open this file for reading and that's why it's going to be R. And the next thing that we're going to do is, you know, we're going to check whether our program has successfully opened that file or not. So I'm going to use the if statement and I'm going to check whether this FP pointer is containing a null value. If it is so, then it's going to mean that the file is not opened successfully. I'm just going to say that to the user. I'm going to use a printf function and I'm gonna say file is not opened successfully and then else if this file pointer or you know this FP contains some other value you know other than null then it, it means that this file has been opened successfully so what we're gonna do is we're gonna read from this file and we're gonna read character by character and we need a loop so I'm gonna use the do while loop so it's gonna be do and then a pair of uh, curly braces and then we're gonna have the while here and okay and inside this do first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna read a character from the file and we're gonna store that in our ch variable so it's gonna be ch equal to and I'm gonna use the f get c function so this f get c function is gonna read a character from the stream specified so here I'm gonna pass the file pointer fp so here this f get c function is gonna read a character from the file that we have opened and if we have read the end of the file then it's gonna return evof 
and once we have successfully read the character we're just gonna print it out I'm gonna use the put care function and you know it's just gonna print out the character that we have passed so we're just gonna pass ch here and now inside this while we need to specify uh, how long we want to execute this do while loop so I want to read from the file until we read the end of the file so whenever we're gonna read the end of the file you know this f get c function is gonna return the evof so I'm gonna check whether this uh, ch is containing a eof if it is containing a eof then uh, it's gonna mean that we have read the end of the file so if it is not the eof then continue to read from this file so this do i loop is gonna read everything from the file and it's gonna print it out and the last thing that we're gonna do is you know we're just gonna close the file that we have opened so it's gonna be f close function and we're gonna pause the file pointer fp alright the next thing that we're gonna do is you know we're just gonna run this program and before that let me check it so uh, okay we have missed a comparison operator here you know we need to use double equal to symbol to compare otherwise it's gonna be a, a assignment operator you know if we use only single equal to symbol here so I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna build and run this program and uh, okay it is printing out the source code so uh, you guys can see here you know we have the source code of the program that we are running so uh, you guys can uh, like my Facebook page and also you guys can follow me on Twitter and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.